Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with Learn Blood Sugar Testing. We're going to talk about the error codes that may occur with the CVS Advanced Blood Glucose Meters. If you would like to jump ahead to a specific error code, I will have the timestamps below in the video description. But we will talk a moment about general troubleshooting to prevent error codes from occurring. Of course, you want to understand test strips are for one-time use. They're not to be reused, so you can only perform one blood glucose test with them. You want to ensure that they're stored properly, always resealing the vial each time you retrieve a test strip from the vial. Ensure that they're not expired. Also, I don't have it on here, but you want to ensure that they're specific to the meter that you're using. Different meters require different test strips. If you're dehydrated, uh, that can affect your general readings of blood sugar. High doses of vitamin C may affect your blood glucose readings. You want to avoid using the meter in strips at extremely cold or extremely hot temperatures, as that may affect your results as well. When the batteries are weak, that can produce errors or improper results. You want to check your technique. Make sure that you're applying blood to the proper spot on the test strip and using all the functions properly. And of course, if you're getting lots of errors or bad readings and not feeling well, you may need medical attention. Error one is a test strip error. It means that the strip was damaged or wet, possibly that you removed the test strip too early or that more blood was applied once testing began. This also could occur if you insert a used test strip. Simply repeat the test using proper technique and a new test strip. Error two means an irregular sample. Either enough blood wasn't used or a liquid other than blood or control solution was used to perform the test. Error three indicates that the test strip was bad so it could have been improperly stored, maybe expired, could have been mishandled, bent, or broken in some other fashion. There could be a foreign substance on the strip. If you have a lot of lotion on your hands or something like that and got on the test strip, that can affect the testing. And the, the port where you insert the test strip into the meter could be dirty. That could also result in an error three. Error four means extreme conditions. Extreme conditions could mean that your blood sugar is extremely high or that the meter, you're operating the meter out of room temperature. The meter can operate out of these temperatures as we'll get into in a moment, but it is best to have it at room temperature. So between 70 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 to 24 degrees Celsius. Other error codes that can occur, error five uh, could mean a poor test result or a non-blood sample. Simply you want to re retest with a new test strip using proper technique. Error six means the test strip is taking too long to provide results to the meter. This can occur when the test strips are very cold. Also, if you're having some other health issues that, that can affect readings as well. So again, this would be a opportunity where you'd want to seek medical attention if you're not feeling well, if you're getting erratic results or if it's simply the conditions, just let your test strips and meter warm up to room temperature and repeat the test. Error seven and eight can be a meter error, in which case you would want to contact the customer service. Additional errors, you could get temperature error. Again, if we're out of that range, the meter will operate between 50 and 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, or 21 to 24 degrees Celsius. It is optimum to use it at room temperature, but it will operate within that temperature range. You could also get a battery light showing up, simply replace the battery and repeat the test. All right, and just remember this is for educational purposes only. Do seek medical attention if you feel that you need it and always read and follow the manual's instructions. Thank you for watching. I'd appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel.